this is the rig I use when I'm targeting big place. Uh, it's a very simple rig. I've got it's an up and over clip down. And I'll just unclip my hook there. I've got about a three foot snood, and at the bottom of the snood, I've got a 1 0 Aberdeen, and above that, a sequin with a micro bead and a rig gum stop knot. And using a 1 0 hook, just a single 1 0 hook on my rig, I can put a slightly bigger bait on one hook and send it out uh, a greater distance than I can using a two or three hook rig. So when I'm after that big fish all that, and that extra distance counts, this is my go-to rig. So if we look at the rig body, this is about 18 inch rig body. I have a clip at the bottom and then I've got a size 8 swivel, size 8 rolling swivel there, trapped between two beads, a spring, another bead and another rig gum stop knot. And the advantage of having the rig gum stop to hold this in place at the bottom is if I need to replace my hook and the snood becomes a bit shorter, I can just move that stop knot and still have a working rig. There's a 75 pound Zenon rig body and at the top I have a uh, clip uh, with the, the bait clip on there so I can put the line over that when I'm casting and a size one rolling swivel at the top and you can get the swivels well, in both of these sizes and these clips in multi-packs which provide great value Tronics Pro multi-packs yeah so that's it really so just to set that up put that over the clip at the top onto the clip at the bottom and that's a nice streamlined rig for when I want to fish for big place at distance so this is a, another rig I use when I'm targeting place this is a loop rig with fairly short snoods uh, on here the snoods are about 12 inches long and this is one of my go-to rigs when there's not a lot of tide runs it's, it's not too prone to tangling and that's probably because I keep the snoods quite short if I go with snoods longer than say 18 inches then it's much more likely to get tangled at the lead at the bottom so let's have a closer look at this rig uh, it's two hooks uh, they're size 1 Aberdeen's from Tronics Pro just unclip the snoods here we start at the bottom Again, we've got the, the bait clip on the fast link and I've got a size 8 swivel trapped between two beads with a rig gum stop above. 0.4 blackout snood going down to a cascade swivel. And then we have our size 1 Aberdeen with the bait stop being a sequin, a little bead and another rig gum stop. Now, one of the advantages of using this blackout line is it has really nice, small, neat knots. And you might be able to just make that out there. That's a, it's really good when you've got a delicate bait, you want to slide over that. Uh, moving up to the top of the rig, again, we've got a 75 pound Zenon rig body. And at the top, we have a, a bead, a spring, a bead, a size eight swivel and another bead. And that's held at the top of the rig body with a rig gum stop, size one rolling swivel, and a 12 inch snood down to the size one Aberdeen, again with a a bait stop above that and that all clips up nice and neatly to help get the extra distance um, but I'd use my my 1-0 up and over rig when I when distance is really crucial um, rather than this one because the, the two baits are going to slow that down through the air so next up in my rigs for place fishing this is a two hook bomber rig quite long snoods on this one it's really good for when there's a bit of tide flow again it's clipped down uh, size 1 Aberdeen's and we'll have another look at this one so we start off with the bottom snood this snood is about 18 inches long uh, it's a rig gum stop, bead, spring, bead, size 8 swivel, bead and a rig gum stop and that all clips down onto the clip above the lead and we again have the little bait stop there uh, on the 0.4 blackout line snood. Moving up to the top of the rig, again I've got a rig gum stop, bead spring, bead size 8 swivel, bead. And this time we have a three foot snood, so it's quite a long snood. And on this one I've put a pop up, and that's just to help give it a bit of extra movement. 
I do look like using pop-ups for my place fishing, so I thought I'd stick one on this bomber rig. And I chose to put it on the longer snood to help avoid tangling. If I only put it on the bottom snood, I think there's a bit more chance of that lifting up and tangling with the snood at the top. So again, that's held in place with the stop knot above the, the floating bead. And then we've got a little small bead and a sequin finishing that off. So there's three rigs I use for my place fishing and hopefully you found that useful.